This is my 2000 Chevy Cavalier, and I'm replacing the downstream O2 sensor. And it cost me 60 bucks at O'Reilly's. And I did the upstream, but then my check engine light came on. And the downstream, in case you want to know, is right here. That's the downstream. And what I did to knock this guy loose, which is not easy, and I don't know if it's ever been replaced. Maybe it has, maybe it hasn't. It was, in, it was hard, really hard. What I did was, I got this tool right here, the O2 sensor tool, and I used this, which is a little bit longer um, ratchet uh, for, for jobs like this. But I couldn't get it with my hands. I'm a strong guy. So I used this to hit it. Bow, bow, bow. We got it loose. Now it's loose. Let's take it off. Okay. All right, now it's easy. Now, don't jinx it though. Actually, it was on there. I put a, you can't even see it. Whatever, you know where it's at. I put WD-40 on here for a day. I let it sit for an entire day. And uh, maybe that helped, maybe it didn't. Well, obviously it did help because I got it out, but I would recommend doing that. And if you're not like me and you have to do it the same day, good luck to you. All right, uh, I'm interested to see where this connects to and leads to. Come on, baby. Let's go uh, open the engine. Where it connects. And um, I had to go under the front for this. But it's right under. There it is right there. Right under the brake booster. Right here. That guy. That connection. Right there. That's where it connects to. And then it looks like it fishes through there. Goes all the way back. But yeah, connection. And to take out the connection, I'm so sorry that, okay, let me zoom out. To take out the connection, I pop this up, pop this up. Yeah, so um, that's it. Now I'm gonna take it, all right, all right. This is gonna work, but I zip tied them. I zip tied the O2 sensor with the other one, just so, I don't have to fish it through. Let's see if that'll work. Oh, hell yeah. Hell. Yes, it worked. Yes. This is the old one. Looks like it's already got some anti-seize on there, but I'm gonna guess what? I'm gonna put a little bit more anti-seize on there because that that was a bit to get off, and hopefully the next person doesn't have to struggle as much as I did. So, old or new? Okay, let's put it in. There's the new one. The new one is in. Fished all the way back to that front. That's how to change out the O2 sensor in a 2002.2 .2 liter Chevy Cavalier.